Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how we can make API request with Postman using the JSON placeholder fake APIs. In this video, we will learn how to make an API call for a live website and we will be using Trello's API for that. So if you're not familiar with Trello, it's essentially a project management tool where you can manage different projects by creating boards, lists, and cards. So we will be creating all of that through the Trello API. So this will give you guys a full real world experience, which you can even use in your interviews and explain them how you did API testing for the Trello website. All right. So before we do that, we need to set up Trello account. So click on the sign up button over here by first go to Trello.com and then click on the sign up button. Once you do that, you will have options to create your account. So either do it through the email or using Google, Microsoft or Apple account. So I've already created my account and I'm already logged in. So I'm going to open that up. So once you're logged in or you have created your account, you will see a screen similar to this. So here basically you have some of your boards that you can see at the moment. I don't really have a board, but once you will create it, we will see a new board created here. So to create a board, what we will do is we'll use some generic template. So what I will do is in the template over here, just pick it and then I'll pick a basic agile sprint board template. So what this will do is generate this agile sprint board for me with some list and card. So this is good so that we don't have to create some fake data for us. And this is already creating for us. So I'll click on create board from template and then, yeah, I will name this agile sprint board. That's fine. And I will create that. All right. So our board is created. And if I go back to boards here, now I can actually see that agile sprint board being created over here. So that's pretty cool. So this is good. We have our board created, but what we will do is in order for us to access this board through the API, we will first need to get access to Trello's API. And to do that, I will actually need to get an API key as well as an Trello API token. So we can do that by actually going to trello.com slash app dash key. And if you do that, it will actually open up the developer API key for you. So I will open that up in a new tab. So here you will see your API key and your API key will basically say that, okay, this is your account but it won't really actually give the user data. So if you want to access your user data, you cannot do that through the API key. Instead, you will have to use this API token. Now this API key is publicly accessible, but your token should be private. So we can generate a token by clicking on this generator token link. I will open that up. So it will ask you to go through some authorization. And here basically it's telling you, okay, it will create a server token for you and it will have access to all of this stuff. And, but it won't have access to actually see your Trello password, which is good. So I will click on allow here. So this is the private token. So make sure you do not share this with anyone. In my case, it's just a test account. So I'm fine with just using this and showing it to you guys. So I will copy this and save it somewhere. Make sure you do the same thing and also make sure to save your API key. All right. So now we have our API key as well as our API token over here. Now what we will do is for our first test to make sure that our key and token is actually working. We will try to make an API call to our sprint board that we created. So we can use this unique ID, which is over here. And through this, we can actually make a call to this particular board. But for that, we need to know which endpoint we need to hit, right? So if I go back to this develop API and over this, um, I will click on this authorize link, which will open up this developer account or this developer documentation for me. So here it's basically giving me some information of how to set up your API key as well as token. We just went through this step. So we don't have to worry about that. What I will instead do is click on this reference link here. And here I will see all the APIs provided by Trello. So the ones we want is for the boards API, right? So I'm going to go to boards and the, what we need is get a board. So I will click on that. And here it's going to tell me how I can actually do that. So it's saying slash one board slash ID and the actual API call. It will even give me an example on how to do that. So if you notice, it's basically doing api.trello.com slash one slash boards and then the ID actually. So I will copy all of this and then we'll make a get call to that. So we will also need to pass in the uh, entire uh, token as well as the API key. So I'm just going to copy the whole thing. And then what I will do is go back to Postman and then paste that over here in our URL. So what I'm going to do now is replace this with my unique key as well as my unique token. So I will go back and just copy that. So my API key is over here and I will go to Postman, just replace that. There you go. And then I will replace my token also. So my token is here. I'll copy this token and then go back to Postman and then just replace this. So if you notice in the params, it actually added that key token here. So I can actually go in here and make changes over here directly too. 
but instead we ended up just adding it over here which kind of added it over here too so either way you can do whichever one you prefer now one thing to focus here that we have this endpoint which is from this api trello.com and then we have slash one slash boots and dash id i'm going to remove membership for now because we're just making a call to that slash id and then we have this question mark which is where we're adding a query parameter so these are our query parameters so after that we are saying okay we need this key value which is this is the key and this is our api key and then we have our token and we are doing end token and then we are passing in that token so make sure you know doing this exactly the same way so if you instead just add the key token without actually passing in this key equals this value and token equals this it won't really work for you all right so i'm just going to replace the id here with the id that i had so that's just i'm going to go back here and i will simply go to this tallow.com copy this id and paste that there all right now let's click on the send button and see if this works for us all right look at that we got our 200 okay status and we got the entire response back for that api call now if you notice we have our name which is this agile spin board we created as well as all the description which this will pretty much match what we had over there and if i notice here we have all this other information related to that particular board which is pretty cool right now we can actually match this so this name agile spin board we already know this is what we created and the description is move fast without losing sight blah 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 I can go back there and see if it is exactly the same what we had there. And if I click on about this board, there you go. Move fast without losing sight by adopting blah, blah. So it is actually giving us the exact data over here, which we are seeing it in the UI, except in the API format. So that's pretty cool. We just made our get API call. So we know that our key and token is working. Now, if you, instead of this, you're saying something else, maybe let me just give an example. Let's say, let me just add in the wrong key and hit send. If you see this invalid key, just make sure that you're putting your key properly. Or if you see, let's say invalid token, if I hit send, if you see this, that means you're probably sending the wrong token. So make sure you're sending the right key and the right token. So for that, just make sure you're following this in the right format. Once again, add in your question mark after your API endpoint, which will say this is the query parameters. You should have this over here and copy paste your key and token. And your key basically will be key equals the value and token equals whatever the value that's there. All right, so we just made our first API call to this Trello API. From the next video, we will start setting up Trello collections and basically start adding more APIs to our Trello collection. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have the means, you can also support me through Buy Me a Coffee website. I will add the link in the description below for that. That's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.